that moment of encounter with our Lord truly present. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's really one of the pillars of the Eucharistic revival. Yeah. Uh, so we want to offer more opportunities for encounter. So is that at the Mass? Is it at adoration? Is it other times of prayer? To really be with Jesus in the Eucharist and to know what happens when we look upon Jesus with the eyes of faith, when mm -hmm. his gaze is upon us, it helps bring clarity to our hearts. Yeah. It helps bring clarity to our lives. And so, so that's really our, our first pillar of the revival mm -hmm. is to have that encounter with Jesus. And then that leads to a deepening of our devotion. Yeah. If we understand who is really there, mm -hmm. that it really is Almighty God, that it really is the one who loves us perfectly, that it really is the one who gave everything for us on the cross. Yeah. If he's really there, then it makes sense that I want to bow down. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense that I want to love him in that way. And that really leads us into the second pillar of the revival, which mm -hmm. is deepening devotion. Uh, we know if, if we believe that Jesus is truly there, yeah. Almighty God, second person of the Trinity, the one who loves us perfectly, mm -hmm. the one who gave everything for us on the cross, if we believe that he's really there in front of us, yeah. then of course, yes, we want to bow down. Mm -hmm. we, we, we want to honor him. And, and so uh, what do our genuflections look like? Uh, if we believe that he's really there. Yeah. Uh, what do our signs of the cross look like if we're recalling how much he's loved us? Yeah. Just as we said before, what our amens sound like? Uh, mm -hmm. what, is our, what does our devotion look like? How do we spend time with Jesus? How do we honor him? How do we model that devotion uh, for our young people, for our yeah. children? Yeah. Uh, so then that devotion then leads us deeper into our formation, right? As we grow deeper in love, then we want to learn more. We want to grow more. Just as you were talking yeah. about your own story, yeah. your own journey, uh, that formation that helps us then have the confidence to, to know mm -hmm. how is it that I could talk about Jesus in the Eucharist out in the world, right? How, <laughs> how could I explain how, how we believe that the bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. uh, could I take maybe one of those cues from St. Cyril of Jerusalem, one of our great teachers who, who would say that, uh, we don't trust our senses here, right? We, we take Jesus at his word. Mm -hmm. He says that it's his body. And so we believe him because he said it. Yeah. Uh, so we don't believe our sight. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't believe our, 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 our touch, our feel. Yeah. But we do believe our hearing. And we believe what Jesus <laughs> has said. We trust him. Yeah. Maybe it's an opportunity to learn more about uh, some of the Eucharistic miracles that have happened. You know, there's those moments where Jesus has shown us mm -hmm a glimpse of what our faith tells us is always true, that it really is his body and blood. But there've been these, these famous moments yes. where the host at the mass will change into the true flesh and blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. or, or maybe someone is sustained in their life for many years on the Eucharist alone. Or maybe we hear some of these uh, great stories from, from the saints who have gone before us uh, that remind us of who is really there in the yeah. Eucharist. Mm -hmm. And so that's that third part is growing, learning. And then the fourth pillar is going forth. Mm -hmm. uh, it's what we're at, at every end of every mass. We are sent forth. Mm -hmm. Go forth in the world. Take the fruits of what you've received here. Take the gifts that have been shared here and go out and share those in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so we take that forth. And, and that, of course, is one of our five foundations for our diocese is evangelization. Mm -hmm. uh, how do we share the joy of what happens in the mass? How do we share... Uh, that gift with the people around us? Yeah. Uh, how do we make sure that Jesus is known uh, in this place, in our diocese, uh, in our parishes, in our towns, at our school, at our work? Mm -hmm. How do we do that? How do we share that faith? Yeah. Uh, so that, that's really the, the hope of the revival. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of my joys right now to be able to, to hopefully help people move along that pathway yeah. uh, to not only a, a deeper love for Jesus in the Eucharist, but uh, a greater willingness, a greater ability to help share that, that gift out in the world.